Today, I'd like to demonstrate how the new T.W. Boswell red fermentation option works. Uh, this is a, a, some, a device we've made that consists of some new hoops and a handle that will allow you to easily conduct a red fermentation in a barrel. Uh, as a lot of you know, red fermentation has become very popular with premium and ultra premium wineries. Uh, in order to get this done, for most wineries, they've had to hire trained coopers. Uh, the cooper's got to come out and actually remove these hoops, which with a big hammer, uh, it's a difficult process. And, and if uh, you're not knowing, if you're not, if you do not know what you're doing you run the risk of damaging your fingers and the barrel and a lot of other things. So it's not something for a novice to take on. Uh, in addition, once this has been filled with wine and fermented, you have to call the cooper back. So you're going to have to have the cooper in your, in your winery at least twice. What we've got here is something that'll allow anyone in your warehouse to easily remove the, these hoops easily remove the head, you can put the wine in it, reassemble it, move the barrel, do the fermentation. When it's finished, you come back and put this all in all together. And it's very simple. Simple. I'll demonstrate. The first thing that you would do is to uh, put the handle in place. Now the handle or the barrel comes with two screws already inserted. All you have to do is to loosen these screws and take this handy little handle that we provided that has keyhole slots. Simply lay that over and tighten. You can additionally tighten if necessary, but basically you've got a nice secure surface to hold the head in place. Uh, next, you can take uh, a, variety of hand, a variety of hand tools. Right now I'm just going to use this ratchet because I've got it, but if you prefer you can use a uh, uh, heavy duty drill or I've got an impact wrench here. All of these things pretty common in a winery. So we're going to start off by removing the head hoop. Uh, we'll take this hex head tool and put it in the, the bolt. Secure the wrench. Quick couple quick turns and uh, voila, the head's off. Next we go to the quarter hoop. Again, not very difficult stuff. comes off pretty easily too. And lastly is the belly hoop. Now this hoop we don't want to take completely off. It's not necessary. We're just going to loosen it to the point that we can see the head of the barrel. The head of the barrel here pull away from the chime. Now that's almost to the point I could get that out, but I'm going to go just a bit more. So, now it's time to take the head out, and the secret to popping the head out is simply twist like that. So, you're ready at this point to fill the barrel full of wine. You can fill it, You'll, you would tighten this hoop again, tighten this hoop um, a little bit until you basically close up that gap and you're, you're now able to fill the, the barrel with grapes about this spot here. Once you've done that we go back to the reassembly and that is not very difficult either. Make sure that's tight. You simply take the head and ideally, you want to line it up with the bunghole. If 
few taps. It's in place. Take the head hoop. One thing uh, I didn't mention, and I do use it, is chalk. You need chalk, and this will make it adhere to the wood a lot easier. A couple of taps, and a hammer. I've got this hoop raised probably a little higher than would have been necessary. If I would have left my hoop a little lower or a little looser, you could actually just set this on. But we're here, so I'm going to take advantage of this hammer. There we go. It's on, and now all we have to do is tighten it. As I said, you can use a variety of tools. So I think we'll try this drill. see the hoop pulling in. There you go. Tightened right up. Next, we want to get the belly hoop. So we'll, uh, we'll make that nice and even. Normally, you can follow the lines that were created when it was first put on, so you get a nice straight fit. I think I'm there. One thing about using this tool, you'll notice that the battery base actually rests up against the barrel and that provides a lot of strength so it's really not necessary to have this arm in place. There you go. And the last hoop, the quarter hoop. And we, I will mention that when putting the hoops on, it's a good idea to adjust them each individually as you go, rather than tighten one completely down and then go to the next. Let me tighten that one, one last. Tighten. Put that in. Apply the wrench, push the button. Okay, and there you have it. This TW Boswell barrel is ready to ferment your premium red wine.